Mariana Lowens with RT Chats and I am at National Arts Festival in Makanda or Grahamstown as we used to know it. It's the 50th year from the beginning, from when it started and it's interesting now 50 years on. I have just watched the most hilarious and thought-provoking one-hander. It was performed by Aaron McElroy and the title, A Vegan Killed My Marriage. Wow, that is interesting. And that's why I'm saying thought-provoking. If ever you get the chance to see it, don't miss it. It was written by Craig Frymont and directed by Craig Frymont. And as I say, Aaron McElroy do a good, good one-man show in A Vegan Kill My Marriage. And then two productions from our hometown, Mandela Bay. It is Port Elizabeth and Kabeha. It's Not Me is the title. And it features Kulani Ngezi Mungezi Nkwadi, the director, is Zwai Ngijima. He's an award-winning playwright. And this was very interesting, reflecting on pain and vengeance that we cannot escape no matter how we move from the past. And it just brought me the message that forgiveness is important. So, it's not me, a show not to be missed, interesting and thought-provoking as well. And the tyrant also from our Mandela Bay Theatre Complex in Kabecha, another is a corner award winner and it is written and directed by Kabiso Zweni. Kabiso acts in it as well as Anele Penny, both sons of theatre. And the tyrant, I think, tells you a little bit about what happens. It looks at the terrifying near future envisioned as the one thing that might happen in the future. For instance, if Malema's EFF comes to power. So this is another one that one should not miss if you can see it. The Tyrant by Tabiso Zueni. That is the title and the year this production plays out. It is entertaining. It draws you right in. It makes you feel as if you are with them. It's about the revolution in France, the French Revolution as we all know it, and it is a production co-directed by acclaimed theatre makers Phyllis Klotz and Small Ndaba. Those are well-known names in Makanda and really performed excellently singing, acting, moving. They were around us. We were amongst them and it drew us in. 19 talented actors. 1789, you can just imagine. Power should be shared between the 
between the people and the Constitution of God. An Afrikaans play, singing, it is very, very emotional, dwarlen, it means wandering, and it's about the Nama genocide inflicted by German forces of the Nama people in the 1900s. Very well directed by Gerald Kluter and performed by a cast of excellent singers and actually so much body language. You'll never forget it. Dwalen, that is another one. Very thought provoking. The suit, it's a play that was written 30 years ago. I saw it some years ago, I can't recall how many, and this is a reimagined production of the suit, originally reimagined by Barney Simon, and so well performed as well. I cannot tell you how in this world, once again, forgiveness is key. It is about Philemon and Matilda and their life and love and marital existence is rocked by a life-altering accident. We witness the lengths to which one can go to get closure or vengeance or even both. This production should not be missed if you ever get to see the suit. Go and be provoked. Finally, I have Can of Worms, a group of excellent musicians. They impressed me from the word go when I first met them some years ago. This group of singers, the event is titled Shine On and they are indeed shining on. They keep shining wherever they go. They tour the country and this particular show it has East London I think probably they all I don't know if they all grew up in East London but they're from that area Kerry Hiles April Buzaza Dalena Mostert Dylan Durant James Mallison and Steve Meise I have just loved Every song, they don't sing covers, they make their own songs, they write their own songs, they perform their own songs, and they are animated. So don't miss this. I can't wait for the next production I am to behold.
and Mariano now have to say goodbye with Artie Chats. Kunst Gesellsies. Till next time.